السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we have two short hadiths two hadith which are very very important crucial to our life and subhanallah um, when you when you when you go through these books for you know beginners like you know the little kids children hadith books one of those one of the one of them uh, come in like one of the hadith from today is going comes in those books so even little kids they learn this and it's just basically they learn the one word abu hurair radiyallahu anhu he narrates that a person a man once came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said he asked for advice he says ausini right uh, you know, please give me some advice so the uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la taghdab yes he said la taghdab don't get angry you know control your anger right so then he asked again he says you know ask he asked again for advice and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the same thing and some narr- over here is mentioned twice and some narrations is mentioned three times where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the same advice three times and when something is said multiple times it shows the importance of it because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't say anything extra it's not like okay he had nothing else to say so he just kept on saying the same thing no is to show that and to emphasize how important this one advice is and that's why he's saying it three times and this is why one of the beginning hadith that kids learn is this word la taghdab right and before i explain it let's go into the next narration where abu hurair radiyallahu an is also by abu hurair uh, radiyallahu an he says that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said laysa laysa shadidu bi sur'ah that you know a strength you know a strong person is not determined by his wrestling skills the sura it's not by you know wrestling and being able to overpower another person physically inma ash-shadid alladhi yamliku nafsahu 'inda al-ghadab a true you know a true sign of strength a true strong person is he or she who can control their anger or they can control their their nafs at the time of anger right you can you can imagine now and you can think of yourself in a situation where you know something escalated and what happens usually people lose control the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying that if a person is able to not lose control keep their calm that's a strong person just because you go to the gym and you you know you bench a certain amount or you squat a certain amount or you can do this or you can do that that doesn't make you strong according to the eyes of the of the sunnah of the, of the the example the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is setting and explaining is that if you think you if you want to be a strong person show that you can control yourself when is the time when shaitan wants you to lose control because the anger is from shaitan right right that's why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when a person gets angry what are they supposed to say anybody yes a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem you're asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection from shaitan because that that's coming from shaitan and if a person uh, is standing what are they supposed to do they're supposed to sit down if they are sitting what are they supposed to do they're supposed to lie down and they're supposed to do wudu these are all things that help the shaitan uh, push the shaitan away and help um, you know controlling the anger and subhanallah there is so many uh, there's I, mean, i don't even have to go into it but there's so many different examples of where anger has caused different things uh, you know different has such an effect that it cannot be reversed right many times for example a person gets angry and then they say they they say they divorce or they say it you know they say divorce three times then you can't go back from it right this it happens so many times where, pe- where people they they do that or you know you 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 lash out at uh, your child or the child lashes out at the parent or you know you do something to your friend and then that friendship is gone forever it can never be mended the same even if you want to forgive each other it never it's never the same right this is why it's so important and that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gave such a high reward for kadhimin al-ghaid in the in the fourth juz in the second quarter you know, allah, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wasari'u ila maghfiratim rabbikum wa jannatin arduha as-samawati wal ard such a jannah the width is bigger than the uh, the skies and the earth right uddat lil muttaqin prepared for the muttaqin who are the muttaqin alladhina yunfiquna fi as-sara'i wal dara' wal kadhimin al ghayd and those who are able to you know it's kadhimin basically means swallow or you know drink so who are those who can swallow their anger who can really control it 
So this is something that we, ha we aspire to be, and this is what the characteristic that we want to bring into ourselves, a habit. That if I get angry, if something is you know, starting to boil, I need to learn how to control that. And subhanAllah, the, I'll finish with this. This is actually a, a very big key to any type of situation. You know, if two people, if, they, if something starts to go, you know, two people go at it, if one person stays calm, automatically the, the situation de-escalates very quickly. But if both people get angry, it just keeps going. It gets higher and higher and higher and then there's no end. This is why it's so important to swallow that anger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the, the real strong people, the ones who can control their nafs at the time of anger. Ameen wa akhru da'awan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام وتباركت على الجلال والإكرام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك وغضبك والنار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة بغير حساب وتوفنا مسلمين غير خزايا ولا ندامة ولا مفتونين اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك وغضبك والنار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين اللهم حر المسجد الأقصى اللهم حر المسجد الأقصى اللهم انصر المسلمين في فلسطين اللهم انصر المسلمين المستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم انصر المسلمين في فلسطين اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة وما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين